pull-out tester Onyx 1 OS. The tester is designed to test concrete strength by applying the cut and pull-out test method according to the national standard GHOST 22690. The tester is used to inspect structures, buildings and installations at construction sites and to make corrective adjustments of calibrating characteristics of ultrasonic and rebound instruments. In fact, the Onyx 1 OS is the first fully automated tester in the world, which allows it to exclude human errors during the loading. The tester automatically controls the loading speed, which is a significant advantage over analogs. We also apply the patented method of testing with a groove for the anchor, which eliminates a side slip motion during the test and thus increases the measurement's accuracy. Grooving is made by means of a special electro-boring unit. Before the start of a test on a selected sample or object, ensure that reinforcing bars are not within the failure region. It is recommended to detect the reinforcement mesh using the rebar detection instruments, POISC-26 or POISC-2M. Conducting a preliminary examination of the selected test areas by means of the rebound strength measuring instrument Onyx 26 and the ultrasonic pulse velocity test instrument Pulsar 22 will allow you to adjust their basic calibration characteristics. Start of measurements. Make a series of impacts using the sclerometer sensor of the Onyx 26 and then save the obtained average result in the memory of the instrument. Similarly, make a series of tests using the ultrasonic instrument Pulsar 22. Before these tests, set up the parameters necessary for such measurements. Then, the obtained information can be used to calculate adjusted calibration characteristics. After the test object is inspected and prepared, drill the borehole in which the anchor will be fixed. To do so, use a drill or rotary hammer. The permissible deviation from perpendicularity is no more than 1 25th, that is, no more than 4 mm for 100 mm of height. It is recommended to use a drill guide to provide that the axis of the borehole is perpendicular to the surface of the concrete. If you cannot fix the carbide boring head from the side of the drill guide, then fix the guide onto the drill from the side of the drill shank. During the drilling process, the drill guide must be held tightly against the surface of the concrete at three points. To make a borehole with a diameter of 24 mm, use a 24 mm drill. Before making a borehole, it is necessary to determine its depth, which depends on the depth of the anchor setting. The borehole depth is calculated on the basis of the following table, where capital H equals the depth of the borehole small h equals the setting depth of the anchor. Having bored the hole, clean it of dust and crushed concrete by, for example, flushing the borehole with compressed air. Then, if necessary, calibrate the diameter with a jumper. The diameter of the borehole should not exceed the diameter of the anchor by more than one millimeter. Grooving To ensure reliable adhesion of the anchor with concrete, make a circular groove in the borehole by means of an electric boring unit. The groove must be made at the depth which corresponds to the setting depth of the anchor. To make a groove at the depth of 48 mm, use a support ring for the diameter of 24 mm. Insert the support ring into the borehole. Insert the boring unit. Firmly press the support ring onto the concrete surface. Turn on the electric drive. Moving the slider, increase the speed to the maximum. While pressing the support ring onto the concrete surface, begin circular rotations in a strictly vertical clockwise direction until the groove is at the correct depth. After 10 to 15 rotations, stop the drive and carefully, without jerking, take out the boring unit from the borehole. Clean the borehole from crushed concrete and dust by blowing it with compressed air. Having prepared the anchor hole, begin to install the anchor. To do this, introduce the anchor assembly with segments into the borehole until the flanges of the segments touch the concrete surface. Then, screw the draw spindle onto the screw shank of the anchor and tighten it with a 19mm wrench. Check if the anchor is fixed well in the borehole by swinging the draw spindle to the sides. Fixing the hydraulic press. 
After fixing the anchor, install a hydraulic press. The unit has automatic control, which controls the full loading and unloading of the hydraulic press. It means that the hydraulic press is automatically fully unloaded after each measurement. Install the press on the draw spindle through the center hole of the housing. Turn the press around the draw spindle, find such a position which will require the minimum height adjustment of the press supports. Install a two-pin support perpendicular to the body of the tester. Screw the control wheel onto the threaded end of the draw spindle, leaving a gap between the butt end of the control wheel and the body frame. The gap should approximately correspond to half of a turn of the control wheel. Unscrew the cylindrical support until it contacts the concrete surface. Hand tighten the control wheel, creating a preliminary tension of the draw spindle with the anchor necessary to ensure a reliable fixation of the press on the concrete surface at three control points. When tightening the control wheel, check that there is no side slip motion of the anchor in the borehole. Otherwise, reinstall the anchor. Settings After fixing the hydraulic press on the object, it is necessary to establish and check the test parameters. To do this, turn the tester's power on and set the operating modes and parameters as follows. Choose the type of the material. Set the size of the anchor. Choose the type of hardening. Set the expected strength class. Choose the size of the aggregate. Choose a convenient measurement unit to indicate strength. Measurements After setting the parameters, you can begin to make measurements. Enter the menu option Measurement and the selected measurement parameters will be shown briefly. To start loading, press the arrow up. The anchor will be loaded till the selected loading threshold is achieved. or till a fragment of concrete is pulled out. Then, the unloading process will begin and the measurement results will be shown. When working in loading mode till a fragment of concrete is pulled out, characteristic cracks and chips are formed on the sample. To provide for an easy extraction of the anchor from the borehole, you can pull out a fragment of the concrete surface. To do this, use the control wheel in order to press the hydraulic press more tightly on the surface, then, start the engine and press the arrow up key in the calibration menu so that the anchor is loaded until it is completely released. The anchor groove is clearly seen at the spot of the pullout which proves its high efficiency. Using the PC application all the results obtained during measurements can be viewed directly on the display of the tester or transferred to a computer using special computer software. This will allow you to save and print results of specific measurements. The tester also has an option which allows it to operate via Bluetooth using your smartphone. In this case, all data are displayed on the display of the smartphone and recorded in the memory of both the tester itself and the smartphone.